the surprise Olympic gold medalist from four years ago. And he's right next to Ryan Murphy, the new guy on the block. He eventually slams at Cal, and his good friend and training mate, Jacob Pebbly, is right next to him with his last chance to punch a ticket to Rio. He's fourth in the hundred. Sean Long Murphy definitely has the most easy speed of the three. If you think about it, Pebbly should be the hungriest. Boy, he is right on the money line, though. Look at him. He is hugging it, and this is a problem that he had in the preliminary scene. Oh, look at him. He's right on it. His shoulder it keeps hitting him. He's got to move over. Clary's in a bit of trouble. He is off the pace as Murphy and Pebbly are one two. so Clary's going to have to... Get up closer to Murphy and Pebbly if he's going to get himself another chance at an Olympics, but he's running third right now. Well, he's starting to wind up a little bit, and Pebbly's now moved back over into the middle, but there's Clary right there. Ryan Murphy is going to win both the 100 and the 200, and he's going to be joined by his Cal teammate and training partner, Jacob Pebbly. Another defending Olympic gold medalist is out of Rio in Tyler Clary. Oh boy, the Cal swimmers have had a lot of reason to celebrate this week. I don't know how Jacob Pebbly made the Olympic team. I, I mean, that guy's a second faster, but when you look at these two teammates, they will now go from college mates to United States teammates. Could they join the Pearsalls and the neighbors and the Kranzelbergs before? But look at this guy. He is right on this lane line. He's bumping into it. He is. He's bumping into it. And that's just four or five strokes we saw then. Can you imagine? He did that all the way down. But he still did it. But Ryan Murphy's the king. He is the king. Second fastest time in the world, by the way. Only by five one hundreds. Oh, can't wait to get that. Might be one of the crookedest roads to Rio <laughs> by Jacob Pebbly he's ever seen. <laughs> but it's good enough. He's got Olympic rings next to his name. Bumping the lane line. <laughs> the guy they call Pebbles. Yeah, believe it, Jacob. You are going to Rio with Ryan Murphy, and then there's the other side of it. Tyler Clary will not be Olympian this time in Rio. <laughs> Coming up, Missy Franklin, the defending Olympic gold medalist and the 200 back. Just like the first final, we've got Ryan Murphy sweeping his breaststroke events and his teammate Jacob Pebbly, a first time Olympian again, both with Michelle. Ryan, congratulations on the double. What has it been like for you to swim in this environment with the kinds of stakes you're swimming for? I mean, it's awesome. Um, you know, I can't do it without the support of my family. You know, specifically like my grandpa. He's come to every single swim meet for like the past four years. He's been so supportive. I was so appreciative to have that behind me every time. Congratulations, and Jacob, your teammate here. You were hugging that lane line, and in spite of that, you managed to make the team. What's going through your mind right now? I mean, we've been training together all year, and I just know if I find him in the race, I'm doing all right. And so that's all I was just thinking about, just keep up with him and let's go. You were pretty emotional. What's the feeling like first time Olympian? <laughs> so about 10 years ago, my mom passed away. I just think about it so much today. And it's just for, I just watch. Kevin's yep. over there. I can't wait to give a hug. Congratulations, you guys. Congratulations, indeed. No better feeling than what Jacob Bentley's feeling right now. Moments of progress presented by City. There were a couple of semifinals in the men's 53 run earlier tonight, and this definitely got an old guard feel to it. The oldest male starter at these trials, 35-year-old Anthony Irwin, who won gold in this event 16 years ago, out-touching Nathan Adrian, the 103 winner. And in the 